Alright then gang, so there's just one more loader I want to show you and that is going to be a flipping 3D square that kind of goes into the screen, flips across, flips down and then back to the original position, alright? And to do this, we first of all need to create our HTML. So let's go down to the comments and create a div called square and then inside I'm going to do two divs because we'll probably have two squares that kind of follow each other. Alright, so that's the HTML, dead simple. Now let's style this up. So down at the bottom where it says flipping squares, let's do this. First of all, we'll target that square and we're gonna give this a width like the others of 100 pixels and a height of 100 pixels. Then I'm going to give this a position of relative because we're gonna use position absolute for the divs inside. And that will do for now. We'll come back to this later to add another property, but for now, Let's go down to the square divs and style those. Like I said, position absolute. And we're going to start from top being zero. And then we're going to give each square, each div, a height of 50 pixels and a width of 50 pixels. We're also going to give these a background color of coral, which is kind of like a pinky orange. And that will do for now, I think. Let me save that and see what it looks like. OK, so there's the square again. There are two squares here, it's just that because they're positioned absolutely, they're on top of each other starting at the top. So, we're not going to see both of those just yet, but as the animation starts later on, we will see both of them. Alright, so, now we need to do the animation for this square. So, let's come down here and say at keyframes, and we're going to call this flip. Now, we're going to use percentages again for this because there'll be several different stages of the animation, about five in total. And what we're going to do is animate a rotation in two different axes. So we'll use a transform for that. And we're going to rotate around the X axis. And remember, the X axis is going across. So if we rotate about that, it's going to flip the square into the screen and out of the screen, right? So we're going to do that transformation, but also rotate around the Y axis. Now, the Y axis goes up and down. So if you rotate something around that, it goes left and right. So to begin with, we're going to say rotate X and that's going to be zero and rotate Y and that is going to be zero as well. So we're not rotating at all to begin with, right? Now I'm just going to duplicate this four times and I'm going to set out these different positions. So 25% into the animation, then 50, then 75 and then 100. All right. So at 25%, I want to rotate around the Y axis, first of all. So I'm going to say that's about 180 degrees. And then at this one, we're not going to rotate the Y anymore, but it still needs to be at 180 degrees so it doesn't go back. At this point, we're also going to rotate to the 180 degree point on the X axis. Now, right here, we don't want to rotate X, but we want to keep it in the same position, so 180 degrees, and we want to rotate this back to zero degrees. And then finally, this one right here, we want to rotate back to zero degrees in the x-axis and zero in the y, so it goes back to the initial state up here. All right, so all we're doing is flipping around these different axes, and it's going to look like the square is almost walking in a square. You'll see it in a second, but anyway, let me now first of all say animation flip and it's going to take two seconds to do the whole animation it's going to be linear and it's going to be infinite now when we first preview this it's not going to look quite right and that's because of the origin of transform so if i save it it's just going to look like it's flipping left and right and upside down i want it to look as though it's walking over here then down then left then up so to do that we need to change the transform origin because at the minute it's in the very center of the element that is the origin of transform but i want to make it so the origin of transform is in the bottom right over here and that means it's going to flip over here then down here then over here then up so to do that i'm going to come here and say transform hyphen origin and set that to be right bottom and that will be the bottom right corner so if i save this now it looks as though it's walking around okay so that looks a bit better now it doesn't quite look 3d at this point it just looks like it's kind of getting bigger and smaller so to make it look 3d all we have to do is give the parent right here a perspective property so i can say perspective like this 
and set it equal to a value, for example, 200 pixels. And when we give this a perspective property, it means that everything inside that is given a 3D space. So then if we use a transform across the X axis to rotate it into the page, it's gonna look more 3D. Now, the effect is gonna be higher when this number is lower. So it's gonna look kind of more 3D the lower this number is. But I think this is a good number, 200 for this particular animation. You can play around with it. I'm gonna save it and you'll notice the difference. That looks a lot more 3D, right? So now it looks like it's flipping out and into the page and kind of walking around in a square. Now remember, there's two of those boxes and they're doing exactly the same thing at the minute. But what I'd like to do is make it so that one box follows the other. So I'm just gonna add a delay onto the second div. So let me copy this and paste it down here and use nth child to get the second div. And inside here, oops, we need to make sure that's up against the div. Inside this, I'm gonna say animation delay is going to be one second. So halfway through the first animation for the first div, this one is then gonna start. I also want to change the opacity of this just to make it seem a little bit lighter to differentiate the boxes. So I'm gonna say 0.5. So let me save this and preview. And now we get something like this, which I think is a nice effect. Now, when you first refresh, we're gonna get a little effect where it looks like one is pulling away from the other and unfolding like that. And I think that's quite nice as well, but you can change this if you prefer. Like I said, all of these you can customize to your own taste. But there we go, my friends. That is three different spinners you can use in your project now. I really hope you've enjoyed this series. If you do, my friends, do not forget to share, subscribe, and like, and I'm gonna see you in the very next one.